years since Kanchanpur's girl child Nirmala Ponto was raped and subsequently murdered. Nationwide protests and campaigns demanding justice for the victim were carried out for months. However, authorities have yet to identify and book the culprit. Another similar incident took place on 5th of February that has sparked an outcry in the country. Authorities have once again shown sluggishness in its investigation, raising doubts that the state's apathy towards cases of violence against women will continue. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the top stories of the hour. A massive demonstration held in the capital calling for an end to violence against women demand maximum penalty against the perpetrators of rapes and killings. Efforts underway to make special border squads to deal with border disputes. Information from scores of bodies working on border issues to be unified. A policy level agreement paves way to Nepali migrants' access to Malaysian social security program, supposed to benefit some 450,000 Nepali workers. U.S. prepares to lift the terrorist designations of Yemen's Houthis, aiming to ease the world's worst humanitarian crisis and intensify diplomacy to end Yemen's civil war. There have been countless cases of violence against women in Nepal where the administration has miserably failed to book the culprits. A massive demonstration was held in the capital with a call to end violence against women and impunity. The demonstrators demanded an end to violence against women and impunity. The rally started from Basantapur before taking rounds of New Road, Ratna Park, Singadarbar and culminating in a mass gathering at Bhadragali. The participants sloganed against violence against women, rape and regression. Various programs were also held during the mass assembly. The participants mainly expressed their ire against the government's inability to control violence against women, including rapes and subsequent killings. They also demanded maximum penalty against the perpetrators of violence against women. <laughs> The participants demanded immediate justice in the case of Kanchanpur girl child Nirmala Panta and Baitari's Bhagarathi Bhatta, among others. Saying that girls and women were increasingly insecure in recent time, the women activists called for a change in the way they were treated by the society. Moving on, the two Asian powerhouse India and China have often reported of skirmishes on the border region. Both the, these nations have special squads to deal with such disputes. However, Nepal, that shares borders with both these giants, is yet to formulate categorical border strategies. In the face of the pandemic, Nepal was forced to close down its borders with both China and India without adequate preparations. Interestingly, there are 33 different mechanisms working on border issues in Nepal. However, all these bodies are found to send disputed information to the center. There are now attempts to give uniformity to these inputs through a single mechanism. The National Security Council, a unified body of army, police, armed police force and intelligence, for the first time has held an interaction to unify the information given by various mechanisms. Nepal police so far has been involved with law and order situation of the country, while armed police is mainly deployed at the borders. Sources say that attempts are underway to make a joint squad that will also have participation of Nepal army, who have mainly been involved in development projects. Nepal shares 1,800 kilometers of border with India and 1,400 kilometers with China. Nepal did not have a single border check post on the Chinese side until two years ago, while preparations are underway to keep 18 such border checkpoints. Likewise, there are 196 border checkpoints on the Indian side, which are far from adequate. The government has approved the draft proposal sent by Malaysia that includes migrant workers in their social security program. The meeting of the Council of Ministers on Thursday gave a green signal paving way for an agreement with Malaysia. 
Around 450,000 Nepali migrant workers are estimated to benefit from the program. Malaysia, on behalf of its migrant workers, had established a social security organization last year. The agreement of Nepal government came a year after the Malaysian government announced to include Nepali migrant workers in its social security program. The government claims that around 450,000 Nepali migrant workers will benefit from it. According to the Labour Ministry, once the program is implemented, employers will provide 1.25% of the salary received by them. The program also includes health facilities and compensation to the victims' families, among others. Meanwhile, experts in the field have suggested implementation of the clauses in favour of Nepali migrant workers. There are currently 100,000 Nepali migrant workers affiliated with the program, but in the absence of government-level agreement, they have not been able to fully avail the benefits. Malaysia has already signed similar agreements with Indonesia and Pakistan. Moving on, the government is preparing to amend the letter grading system implemented at school level once again. With the conclusion that the teaching and learning of the students have deteriorated, the Ministry of Education has decided to amend the letter grading system. The letter grading system is going to be amended as the stakeholders have concluded that the education system has deteriorated with the implementation of the system. Working on the suggestions by a task force team headed by a member of the National Planning Commission, the Ministry of Education has decided to consider those who score less than 35% as failed from onwards. The meeting chaired by the Education Minister has decided to give grade D to the students who score between 35 to 40%. The ministry has also directed the Curriculum Development Centre to implement the report given by the task force of maintaining six grades above grade D. A final decision will be made by National Curriculum Development and Evaluation Council under the Curriculum Development Centre, which will be weighed to the implementation of the new ruling. The letter grading system was introduced for the first time during the SEE examination in 2015. However, the system has backfired in a number of ways as experts in the field and mainly educationists have pointed out that the new system of evaluation has discouraged the students from excelling in their academic field. In our public voice segment, we had asked the locals in Argakati district why does the government seem indifferent towards citizens' basic rights. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Jantala Tharni Ra Aafnu Vyaktikat Shwasta Purti Ko Lagi Matra Aile Ka Neta Haru Angadi Bade Ko Dekchu Neta Aurle Yoh Kura Ka Dhyan Na Dekana Kosari Sata Ra Kurchi Patan Sakin Cha Desa Matra Ra Jai Lagi Rane Aapas Ma Chai Ni Lord Da Kheri Yoh Dekhe Nan Dekh Na Par Ni Yoh Aapas Ma Chai Ni Yoh बड़ा दुखा दे आप आप मिले ऐसा नहीं थी जनता लड़ाई का साथ नहीं थी इन आप एक पूरा करने नहीं उधर सी वाहन बस यहाँ टाइम नाउ फॉर अ सेगमेंट पब्लिक पॉल्स वेर यू टेक्स्ट अस विथ योर ओपिनियन The question is what should be done to make border security more effective. Your options are A. Mobilizing integrated mechanism, B. Entrusting responsibility to single body and C. Establish new security force. The voting is on type NEWS. Select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for the sports update. The triangular series involving Nepal, Oman and America and to be hosted by Oman has been postponed until further notice. The much-awaited tournament has been cancelled due to Oman's quarantine rules and America's travel restrictions. The cricket governing body in Nepal, CAN, has stated that the tournament has been postponed until further notice by International Cricket Council. Nepali cricketers were undergoing training in a closed camp while CAN has said that the training will continue. It's time now for our special segment, Media Watch.
The Pushpakamal Dahal Madhav Kumar Nepal faction of the Nepal Communist Party held what it called a massive show of strength on Wednesday. Addressing a mass gathering at the capital's exhibition road, Nepal Communist Party Chairman Dahal warned of staging protests at Singadarwar and Balwatar if Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli does not rectify his mistakes. Likewise, co-chairman of the Dahal Nepal faction, Madhav Kumar Nepal, accused Premier Oli of acting against the constitution. Senior leader of the Dahal Nepal faction and former Prime Minister Talanath Kanal urged other political parties to join their campaign. Police released Nepal Communist Party youth leader Ram Kumari Thakri after detaining her for almost six hours on Thursday. The police had taken the youth leader into custody and integrated her after a complaint was lodged against Thakri for making indecent remarks aimed at President Bidyadevi Bhandari. Thakri was released by the police on Wednesday evening after she signed a paper saying she honors the president. After her release, Thakri said that she would always respect the head of the state and that her case should be dismissed as she had only commented on the personal activities of the president. The police had issued an arrest warrant against leader Thakri as per Article 58 of the Criminal Code for hurling insulting remarks at the president. The National Human Rights Commission has urged the Indian government to conduct a fair investigation into the murder of a 12-year-old Nepali girl after she was gang-raped in India. The NHRC wrote to the Indian National Human Rights Commission regarding the gang rape case of Sumitra Bika from Barbardia municipality in Bardia. Sumitra was murdered and burnt near the Nepal-India border on 21st of January following the gang rape. The Human Rights Watchdog issued a statement on Thursday saying that it has written to India to probe into the barbaric and inhumane incident and book the perpetrators without delay. Meanwhile, girl students protested at the capital's Maitikar on Thursday, demanding immediate arrest in the rape and killing of Bhagirati Bhatta, a 17-year-old girl from Dogarakeda rural municipality in Baitari last week. The students said they are suspicious of the probe into the incident as the culprits have not been nabbed even after a week since the heinous crime was committed. Issuing a press statement on Sunday, the National Human Rights Commission called for immediate, impartial and effective investigation into the incident and urged the government to book the perpetrators. This is Abhuda Esresta for Media Watch and Kantipur News Desk. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead.